So, so we're going to start doing some white collar crime reporting um, because I read this shit all the time and I don't want it to just stay in my head. I want to get it out to the world. All right. So what was reported on August 22nd, 2023 Former J.P. Morgan precious metals traders sentenced to prison. Defendants were J.P. Morgan's former head of global precious metals business and J.P. Morgan's former head gold trader in New York. Two former precious metals traders at J.P. Morgan Trace and Company were sentenced today for engaging in fraud, attempted price manipulation, and spoofing as part of a market manipulation scheme that spanned over eight years, involving tens of thousands of unlawful trading sequences and resulting in over 10 million in losses to market participants. Greg Smith, 59, of Scarsdale, New York, was sentenced to two years in prison and a $50,000 $50,000 fine. Michael Nowak, 49, of Montclair, New Jersey, was sentenced to one year and one day in prison and a $35,000 fine. The defendants used their positions as some of the most powerful traders in the worldwide precious metals market to engage in an egregious effort to manipulate prices for their benefit, said Acting Assistant Attorney General Nicole Argentieri of the Justice Department's Criminal Division. Um, So it looks like, according to court documents between approximately May 2008 and August 2016, Smith and Nowak, along with other traders on the J.P. Morgan Precious Metals Desk, saying those words together is a doozy. Uh, engaged in widespread spoofing, market manipulation, and fraud scheme. Smith was an executive director and trader on J.P. Morgan's Precious Metals Desk in New York, and Nowak was a managing director and ran J.P. Morgan's Global Precious Metals Desk. As part of their market manipulation scheme, Smith and Nowak placed orders for Precious Metals Futures contracts that they intended that they intended to cancel before execution to drive prices on orders they intended to execute on the opposite side of the market. Smith and Nowak engaged in tens of thousands of deceptive trading sequences for gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. Futures contracts traded through the New York Mercantile Exchange and Commodity Exchange, Inc., which are commodities exchanges operated by CME Group. These deceptive orders were intended to inject false and misleading information about the genuine supply and demand for precious metals futures contracts into the markets. Hmm. In September 2020, J.P. Morgan admitted to committing wire fraud in connection with one, unlawful trading in the markets for precious metals futures contracts, and two, unlawful trading in the markets for U.S. Treasury futures contracts and the secondary cash market for U.S. Treasury notes and bonds. J.P. Morgan entered into a (sighs) three-year deferred prosecution agreement through which it paid more than 920 million in criminal monetary penalty criminal disgorgement and victim compensate compensation with parallel resolutions by the commodities futures trading commission and the securities exchange commission announced on the same day. (laughs) Y'all white collar motherfuckers. One year. Listen, something I learned from working in insurance, large companies have insurance for deceptive practices. 
they themselves are protected. They have fucking insurance they pay for for their deceptive practices of stakeholders. They know people are going to do some fuck shit. And the large company, they've got insurance for it. So, you know, um, what's the lesson here? <laughs> um, stealing and lying um, with regard to the New York Stock Exchange will get you more money and less jail time than selling drugs. So y'all drug dealers, go to school, um, get into finance because the way drug dealers are able to do math in their heads, you guys are going to soar above the motherfucking Greg Smiths and Michael Nowaks of the world. So, you know, shoot higher. <laughs> Um, yeah, world is fucked. All right, bye, y'all.